Hello, I'm Michael Clegg with Supermicro, VP and GM for 5G and Edge. And at Supermicro, my role is to really focus on telecom, anything telecom as a domain. And with Supermicro, we're fairly broadly based. We started around doing a lot of open RAN stuff, but we've really seen the upsurge in AI in telecom today. And that's a big focus for us. So talking about what we can see at the show itself, you know, I would say AI is the big theme. You talk to anybody and they say, really, it's AI, AI, and AI. And for us, we've certainly seen telcos make a big move into that space. Last year, we had a couple of announcements with the AI RAN Alliance and also with the Telco AI Group set up. So a year down the road, how are we doing? Definitely, AI RAN Alliance has taken off, has expanded. Event last night, they were saying they're up to 75 plus members now. Supermicro is a member in them. And actually, many of the platforms are running on our NVIDIA MGX Grace Hopper platform, which we have here at the show. In a lot of interest in. So we will continue to see, you know, RAN itself in general, we are very active there as well. We've continued to work on Open RAN. We have a number of partners over here for Jitsu so next year in that space, and we're continuing to show our latest RAN ID Open RAN products. So we'll keep pursuing that. Then we do AI RAN. You know, for us, when I think of Telco, it's sort of um, AI for Telco, AI by Telco and um, AI in Telco, AI in Telco is where they're using it internally. I think that's actually pretty well established. It's come to the fore now that we have generative AI, but traditionally they've been doing predictive AI for quite some time. It's been under the radar. When we look at AI um, for Telco, this is really more on the enterprise side, fairly standard. Telcos are an enterprise like any other company, they will adopt AI. And then really AI by Telco, we've been quite active there with NVIDIA and AI Factory, Sovereign AI, we see a number of telcos being ideally suited in countries to actually be the hosting and the provider of AI infrastructure and AI factories as they combine. They will have the internal expertise that they will gain themselves as well as being able to offer that and just speaking with one of the recent ISPs. Yeah, that's a big focus for them is to go out and now combine that infrastructure, combine those services and really move from telco to techo. So AI is definitely the theme over here all the way from cloud um, training infrastructure down to many, many more inferencing applications and then merging that into the event.